Hey guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So today is Friday and I actually took the day off work. I think I've mentioned before that since I've been working from home, I haven't really been taking a ton of time off. So I have a lot of leave and I have reached my ceiling at work, which means if I don't take a day, I'm going to stop accruing. So it's actually a good position to be in. I'm not complaining. So I took the day off today and of course, what am I going to do? I'm going to go shopping because that's just kind of what I like to do on my days off. And today I want to go to the mall and I want to look at just some holiday outfits. You know, I want to look at all the sparkles and I want to see what some of the different stores have. I want to check out Loft. I want to check out Ann Taylor. I want to check out Express. I know Express has a lot of sparkly items, so I'm going to do that today. And then we might even check out some handbags. I don't really plan on buying anything. I don't plan on it. We always say that, but I do like to look. So as usual, I will take you guys along with me and share with you everything that I see. Now today might be a little difficult because I actually have to get my routine blood work this afternoon and the only appointment they have was 3.15. So that means I have to fast all day. I have to fast for eight hours so I can't eat anything today. So it's going to stink because at the mall they have C's candy and you guys, I love to go to the mall, get like a little tiny like four count box of C's candy and I just like to have one here and there. And so I think what I'm going to do, I'll still get some and that'll be like my little treat after the blood work. But I can't get a pretzel, I can't get lunch, and I can't get my Starbucks coffee. But you better believe I'm going to get it later today, but I just can't get it until after 3.15. So today we're going to go to the mall, we're going to get there early, we're going to do a little shopping, I'm going to take you guys along with me, and we are going to have fun today. So you guys know I am a very routine type of gal, so let me go ahead and let me show you my outfit of the day. It's super, super casual, but I will share that with you. So here is my outfit today. We are super casual. And first look at my new phone case right here. It's my daughter, um, her hockey picture, and they were able to do phone cases. So I'm excited about that. So I have my sunglasses here. Um, these are my Amazon sunglasses two for 15, but you guys, I just absolutely love them. Then I am very casual. Let me kind of give you an overview here. I just have a hoodie on. I got this hoodie. I think it was from Loft last year. I have this trench coat that I got from the Nordstrom anniversary sale a few years back. I think it's by Sam Edelman. I have some joggers here. These are actually sweatpant joggers and these are just plain black. I actually got them from Dick's Sporting Goods. I'll try to see if I can find them and maybe link something similar. Then I have my Adidas Swift running shoes and then we are taking Miss Coco Chanel out today. I know I've mentioned before that I am just so happy that I was able to get this beauty right here prior to the price increase. I just cannot believe the price increases. They are so crazy. But this is my outfit today. Like I said, I am very, very casual. The one good thing about like a nice coat, like a trench coat or a wool coat, you can wear like casual and comfy clothes underneath and then you can throw a trench coat on and it kind of pulls everything together. So yes, yeah, so that is my comfy shopping outfit of the day. Before I do a what's in my bag, I realize I have not peeled off one of the stickers, so I thought we would do this together because this is very satisfying. Oh. Oh, that is like so satisfying pulling off the sticker. So let me go ahead and share with you a what's in my bag. I'm going to do it in the car when I can kind of prop my phone up and I will share with you what I have in my Chanel. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. Like I said, we are very casual today. I'm filming with my phone, but I wanted to share with you what I have in my Chanel bag today. I don't really have a ton in it because if you guys are familiar with the jumbo, it can have a tendency to get a little heavy. So I don't really like to pack too much in it. Okay, so let me share with you. You can see it here. I have my Dior. This is my little uh, Dior saddle card hit case and I keep all of my cards in here. And then it has a little pocket on the back which is really convenient. Then I have my uh, face mask. This is my slip soak face mask. I love this. It's really breathable. Uh, let's see. Then I have my tamp. You guys know it wouldn't be an amber video without one of those. 
and then I have my uh, Louis Vuitton. This is my Louis Vuitton key pouch. I love this. I have my major credit card. I have my ID, a little bit of cash, and then my keys are attached. And then I have my lip gloss. This is my Dior Lip Glow Oil. I'm wearing it right now, but let's do a little touch up. This is so nice on the lips. Not sticky. I love this formula. I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested. I get it in the shade 000. And then the final thing I have in here is my little Chanel small cosmetic pouch. And this in here, I just have some cash, some coins, and I even have like, you know, a couple pictures and stuff in here. So that is actually everything that I have in my Chanel bag right here. I do have a Zumoni organizer just because I found with my other, my medium classic flap, I didn't get an organizer. And the bottom of the bag has actually gotten a little dirty. So because of that, now with most of my bags, I like to get organizers. But that is everything that I have in this little beauty. I am so excited to start my day. I really wish I could get some coffee, but I can't. I have to fast and I can only have water. So I might treat myself to a water when I get to the mall. But I also have to return something to Nordstrom. Like I said, I'm going to try on a couple outfits. So we're going to have a fun day shopping. So let's go ahead and let's get our day started. I just got to the mall. I actually ended up missing the exit because I was admiring the leaves. The leaves are so pretty. They started changing colors, but because of that, I wasn't paying attention and I missed the exit. So it took me an extra 10 minutes to get here, but that's okay. So we are going to go shopping. I am very excited. I have to make a return um, to Nordstrom. I actually, you guys know how much I love Baccarat Rouge. I ended up buying the body cream and I just don't really like it. It has kind of like a medicine smell to it. So I'm going to go ahead and return this and I might end up getting something else in place of it, but I will take you guys along with me. So let's go ahead and get to shopping. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Just come in the visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. Oh, oh, and the sunset, it is just getting better on a blanket with the skyline painted in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's what we do. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Okay, I am now waiting at my appointment, you guys. And like a dummy, I forgot the paperwork. So I'm hoping that they can pull it up. It's just routine blood work, but I'm such a dummy. My mind was completely on shopping today that I wasn't focused on more important things like appointments. <laughs> so anyway, I had a fun time at the mall. I'm pretty hungry, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't eaten since six o'clock last night because you have to fast before your appointment and I had to make an appointment for 315 today that's all they had so anyway I'm pretty hungry 
but I tried on a few bags today. There was one bag that was so cute. It was a Gucci bag. I fell in love with it. I almost pulled the trigger, but I was like, I don't need it. Trying to be good. Um, I also did pick something up from Nordstrom, which I can share with you guys a little bit later. And then I also picked something up from Seize Candy because you better believe I am going to dig into that Seize Candy as soon as my appointment is over. But no, I'm just kind of a piece or two. I'm not going to eat the whole box. Maybe I will. No, just kidding. So I am going to go get the routine blood work. And then after that, I am probably going to get a Starbucks and then maybe a piece of banana nut bread just to hold me over. My husband and I are going to go to dinner tonight and we're going to go to like probably a Mexican restaurant. So that should be fun. So I don't want to fill up and eat too much, but I definitely need something. So anyway, they just texted me that they are ready for my appointment. So let me go ahead in there and I'll follow up with you guys in a bit. Okay, I am back in the car and I am starving. So you know what? We're going to have a moment together. We are going to have a moment. I went to Seize Candy. One thing, fun fact about me, I love, one thing I love about the holidays, well, I love many things, but I love Seize Candy. Seize Candy is based out of California, but uh, they always bring out the little stands and I love them. So I got a little box and you know what? I am so freaking hungry right now since I was so when you get blood work you're supposed to fast for like eight hours but I haven't eaten anything since six o'clock last night and it is now 3 30 so I am absolutely starving so I'm gonna go to Starbucks but I just want to have one little piece of candy and we're gonna have it together and you know what this is gonna be the best chocolate I've probably ever had so I'm so hungry so first let me show you pretty box these are good gift ideas too and you can see them right here oh my god which one do i want this is my favorite this square one because it has like toffee and stuff in it so let's enjoy it everyone around me is probably like what is this girl doing mm. Mm, so good mm, mm, mm. So, um, you guys are getting to see a whole different side of me today. Mmm. So good. Okay. But, you see the inside? Ugh. So, oh my god. I could eat the whole box. I'm not gonna. Okay, and have one more, but just a little guy. Have this one right here. And now I'm gonna put it away. All right, I feel refreshed. And now let's go to Starbucks, and then when I get home, I'll show you what I got from Nordy's. Guys, I am back home and just an update. I decided not to go to Starbucks. I thought, you know what? I am going to be good today. I came home. I made myself some greens. My husband and I are going to go out to dinner tonight. We're going to go to a nice Mexican restaurant. So I thought, you know, I can indulge then, but I don't need to go to Starbucks every day. I told you it can get really expensive and they have actually raised the price. It used to be $4.19, now it's $4.51. Granted, in the grand scheme of things, $0.30, cents, it's not like a huge deal, but it really adds up. So I opted not to go today. But I wanted to share with you the item I got from Nordstrom. But before I do that, one thing, I mention this Hermes lip enhancer all the time and I thought I would show you guys what it looks like. Um, if you didn't check out my recent Lux gift guide video, make sure to check that out. I share with you a ton of Lux gift ideas to get for that special someone and Hermes lipstick was included. But I wanted to show you, I love this one. It's a lip enhancer so keep in mind it's a little bit sheer. So when you see it on my hand it doesn't really look like much but it just gives you a little something extra. So for example, right now I don't have anything on my lips. So let me show you what it looks like when I put it on.
Okay, so you can see it's just a little bit of a flush of color, but it just gives you a little something extra. So I really, really like it, especially since I'm not really going into the office, but sometimes I just need like a little something extra on my lips. So I wanted to make sure I shared this with you. I really, really like this. When I first got it, I wasn't sure how I felt, but this is kind of one of those items that I reach for a lot and it's pretty good. Plus look at the pretty pink packaging. I just love it. Okay, so I wanted to share that. And I wanted to share with you what I picked up from the mall. So I went, I looked at a couple purses. Oh my gosh, you guys, I went to the Gucci store. And first off, I, so I went to the Gucci store and I fell in love with this tote. I will insert the little clip of me trying it on. I was this close to buying it, this close to buying it because I feel like it was going to be really functional. But I told the lady, let me have your card. Let me think about it. I didn't want to make any rash decisions. And, you know, I am going to Vegas very soon and I'm trying to kind of save my money for when I go to Vegas because I want to be able to treat myself to something out there. So I didn't want to kind of blow my my purse savings on something now and then I would regret it if I go to Vegas. So anyway, so I'm going to think about that. So I saw that and then I went to Louis Vuitton and they had the cutest little Speedy in the imprint leather. It was so adorable, but I kind of talked myself out of that because I said, have the Pochette Matisse in the imprint leather and then I also have the Nano Speedy and I have the Speedy 35. So even though the Speedy I tried on was really cute and I think it would have been functional, I again talked myself out of that as well because these bags are really expensive and I just want to make sure that I think everything through as you should with every purchase. I just want to think it through, make sure that it is something I'm really going to use. So again, like I said, I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys, but my husband and I are going to Vegas very soon. We had our 15 year anniversary last year, our 16 year this year, my 40th, his 40th, and we haven't really had just gotten to celebrate because of everything going on with COVID. So we are so excited to go. We're just going for a quick little trip, just a couple of days. We're gonna see some shows, I'm gonna do a little shopping. So I'm really trying to be good and save my money now so that I can treat myself to something special on that trip. So to make a long story short, I saw a lot of bags, they're really cute, but I told myself, nope, Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. So let me share, share with you what I did pick up. So I think I mentioned earlier that I did have to return an item to Nordstrom. I returned some lotion and that lotion was expensive. You guys, it was like a hundred bucks. So I was looking and I saw, I got a pair of boots. I saw these boots and I was like, Hmm, do I want them? Do I not? And then I decided, yes, I want them because I don't have anything like them and I need a new pair of winter boots, but they are these, like how cute. And the main reason I got them is because I love the Sherling detail. And another thing too is this is going to match my Burberry scarf perfectly. Let me actually get that. Hold on one second. Let me get the Burberry scarf and I'll show you what I mean. So here are the shoes. And then here is my Burberry scarf. Don't you think that that pairs nicely together? I just thought these were really cute and I don't have anything like this. I know you've heard me say that before, but I really don't have anything like this in my collection. I do have winter boots that are a little higher. They go to my knee and I don't have anything like this. And I thought these would be cute. I tried them on with joggers. It does not look cute with joggers. Well, you can really wear them however you want, but I thought these would be cute with my Spanx leggings or any type of leggings. And I just loved this right here. I love the detail. And like I said, I really mainly got them because I thought it would pair nicely with my Burberry scarf. And then if you don't want these tan shoestrings, they also come with black as well. But I think I'm going to keep the tan just because I like how it pairs with my scarf. I put these on. They're really comfortable. I think they'll be nice and warm. And I got half a size larger. I usually wear an eight. I got an eight and a half and they were a little big, but that's the only size they had. And I definitely wanted to get them. They were a little bit of a splurge, but let me tell you how I justified it. So I returned the lotion. It was a hundred dollars. So in my mind, I was like, that was a hundred dollar credit. Then I had a Nordy note. So these were actually $256, which I don't know if I've ever really spent that, but in my, on like a pair of shoes, but in my mind, I'm like, these are going to be very functional for the winter. I'm sorry if you guys hear kids yelling. Our garage is right below me and Sky and some of her friends are in there. 
So anyway, <laughs> that is where the screaming children comes from. So I thought these were really nice and I ended up paying like a hundred and I say like 140 bucks after the return and then after my Nordy note. So cute, right? I really, really like these. So I picked these up and hopefully I'll get a lot of use out of these um, in the winter time. Again, they're by Mark Fisher. If you guys are interested, I will link them down below. They came in a black and then I think they also had a really pretty tan color as well. And like I said, I tried on a few handbags. I went to see if the Charlotte Tilbury like advent calendar, if they still had it at Bloomingdale's and they were sold out. So I'm still on the fence about that as to whether or not I should purchase that and then, you know, share it with you on my channel. If that's something you guys want me to do, let me know and I definitely will. But yeah, that's actually all I picked up today. Uh, tonight, my husband and I are going to go to a nice Mexican restaurant. This weekend we're going to go camping. Sky has hockey. She has lacrosse. It's going to be a busy weekend, but it should be a fun weekend. So yeah, I'm going to sign off for now. That was my day today. Thank you guys so much for coming along. I hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure to hit that little subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And I'd love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. And make sure to check out my recent Lux gift guide in case you guys are on the hunt for the perfect gift i share quite a few items i think i might have like 15 items or candles there's beauty items i have a plethora of everything so if you're looking for a good gift check that one out okay guys thanks again for coming along have a wonderful day and i'll see you in my next video Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. let's go to the ocean Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach with our free